Good morning. I hope you have a wonderful day or wonderful evening every day of the year when we want to address the problem that we have in English that affects our performance. We struggle sometimes with acronyms. These abbreviations cause a little bit of delay in our understanding of language, but we have to alter this sort of problem by always annotating and learning using applications that we have in English. But it's not the matter of the application itself. It's how much time you spend incrementally to learn. You have to have an anticipation by the end of the month that you are going to reach this goal. Just don't start learning English without a goal. An application of learning without a goal is just an application. You need to apply, articulate, and assert on yourself that this is my goal that I will achieve by the end of the month. If you want to assess your level in English, you can do it by the end of the week. See what you learned. Review what you learned. Assume that you haven't memorized everything and try to associate your learning with something relevant in your life. Use authentic sources and try to incrementally and briefly breeze through these applications and sources, but search for something really authentic. Calculate the number of videos that you have to watch, write down briefly the words that you learned, and and always look for the captions because they will give you the matchup speech of the speaker. In language, we have so many categories. Focus on verbs, nouns, and adjectives. Don't focus a lot on adverbs because they come naturally with speech. Criticism is really essential for your character to grow if you listen to someone who criticizes you positively and constructively. Sometimes you need to claim something bigger than your character to be the imitation of that person. Sometimes you have to claim that because that is going to help you stick with the character that you are building. So it's one of the characteristics of the improving and developing personality. In English, imitation is really a good tribute to the originality. When you take classes, complete the lessons and don't cut two or three classes of your course because the intermittence of your attendance is going to create some sort of misunderstanding between you and the teacher that is delivering the materials to you. You need to consistently build a concrete foundation for your learning. Being constant with your goal that you achieve by the end of the month is going to develop you 15 to 25%. And that is constantly, by the end of the month, going to be more progress for you. Consult with people in the field who have gone through the process of learning. And try to contend with your friends when you have a debate or discussion, because it's going to help you improve your communication skills. You need to learn on the continuum of context. Context is really important. Some professors claim that there is no language without a context. Even the words in dictionary are meaningless without a context. Some other professors contradict them. You need to convert your goals into actions because goals without actions are just goals and ambition. Sometimes you need to copy other people's work but build and modify this kind of work to redirect it to your own intentions and interests and goals. Convert every interest that you have in language into an action plan for you to become better in language. Sometimes you need to correspond with international students or people who speak English as a second language. And that is very typical and normal. So don't feel tired if you're doing that constantly and consistently 
every month. One of the criteria of credible learner is that they receive criticism and they correlate that with the progress that they have in language. It's really crucial to demonstrate good progress to people because the essence of language is to demonstrate it to other people and to defend yourself against the criticism and against the arguments that other people have. If you want to depict where you will be after one year, you can derive that from the monthly progress that you have. Devise discipline that differentiates you from your peers and stick with it. Sometimes we need to discover new methods and new ways to discriminate the good method of learning from the bad method of learning. Don't just say that reading is going to be my own target and my only target because sometimes you need to train your ears as well. The domain of language has so many elements and each one of these elements should be taken in consideration. But all domains are equal and equivalent to each other. Let other people evaluate your level in language between now and then, especially professors and better English speakers and specialists. Events that you get yourself involved in will give you real good potential to progress in language. You have to exercise every day, every week and every month because that is going to better you exponentially. Try to exclude anything that harms your self-esteem or stamina to move on and carry on learning of language. Sometimes you find yourself writing some expository composition and sometimes you need to figure out how to focus on your goal because there are so many distractions that will derail you from your goals and the achievement of these goals. If you watch yourself by the end of the month, this progress that you make will foreshadow the progress that you make annually. But remember something, every piece of effort that you exert will be a fragment of the whole effort that you achieve by the end of the year that will reshape your personality and your character and build you from the ground up. You're heading in the right direction of your learning. English should be part of your personality and every fragment, every cell of your body should embrace the fact that you're learning and you are trying to achieve something different in language. Highlight and identify the major elements that you consider as weaknesses and be disciplined to correct, improve, and reshape them in a better way. Eventually, you will hit your target by the end of the month, and you will notice how far you've gone to achieve your goals. Have a lovely day.